I make a lot of videos on this YouTube channel, and most of them revolve around news and stuff going on inside of the Roblox community. Sometimes I'll also mention scenarios and instances of people's Roblox accounts being falsely terminated or banned for a stupid reason. Matter of fact, this has happened twice in the past two days. Made a video talking about a Roblox developer getting their account terminated for no reason, and two Roblox YouTubers getting their accounts compromised. And just a week ago, a Roblox developer as well got their account deleted for gift card theft that wasn't even true. Fortunately, after my videos have been made publicizing the situations, Roblox went ahead and undid the bans. For example, the one with that developer that had the gift card theft ban, his account was unterminated. And the one developer behind Venti on Roblox that had their account terminated for a faulty reason had also been unterminated as well, like shortly after my video had been released at this point. Right now, what happens is that when somebody gets their account terminated for a false reason, they usually end up just coming to me instead of Roblox support because they know Roblox support isn't going to do anything. Believe me, that's literally true. There's been times when Roblox support has deleted accounts for false reasons and still flat out denied the appeals. So at that point, they run to me. There's a clear problem with how Roblox support is being handled. It's especially more embarrassing when there are false ban reasons and they still flat out deny the appeals. Imagine, like, you legit can have your Roblox account terminated tomorrow for something unknown and something you didn't even do, and if you don't have any platform to defend yourself on or try to get your story out there, like, I promise you, bro, there are so many smaller Roblox devs and users that this probably has happened to that have not been able to have this publicized and have not had the opportunity to speak for themselves.